Oh boy. So. So we just gonna act like uh, Cal Khalifa did just fuse. We just gonna we just not gonna talk about this, right? We just not gonna talk about this. We just not gonna so we just gonna we just gonna sit back, relax, and act like this is okay. We just gonna sit back and relax. Goku's in his god form, getting his butt kicked by these two. We just gonna sit back and relax like that is okay. All my time searching up on YouTube, I only saw one brand video, and that's from freaking Super Mazaku. Laying out straight facts. This episode was garbage. What the heck, Goku? Now, I don't care. Even in his normal form, okay? Goku should be bodying these people. Goku should be bodying Kao Khalifa. Listen, I respect Khalifa. I'm, I'm happy that, you know, I'm happy that she, she has confidence in herself, okay? I'm happy because that's something that she liked. That's something that she liked a lot. I'm happy she gained the confidence. I'm happy. But Goku is arguably the strongest anime character in anime history. I said this in my this, this Dragon Ball Super Suck video. If you guys don't remember that, watch it. This episode was trash. Now, y'all can hate me. Y'all can dislike this video. I don't care. This episode was trash. Straight trash. Goku should not be getting bodied by these, by these characters. The dude went Super Saiyan God. And still got bodied. He did all the transformations, and, I, and they kept on saying, that hey, what irked me was, oh, we the strongest in the universe. We the strongest in the universe. We the strongest. And also, I just took a nap, so, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty hyped up right now, so your boy's pretty good right now. But anyway, we the strongest in the universe. We the strongest in the universe. Man, get out of here. And Vegeta, why? Why are they treating Vegeta like, like, like he's some kind of 10-10 in this show? Shout out to Mazako on that, by the way. He's on that subject. But he's right. Vegeta is being disrespected in this episode, bro. He's being disrespected. They don't call him the Prince of All Saints for no reason. Now listen, Vegeta is definitely, definitely one of my favorite anime. Oh, well, one of my favorite. Well, he's my definitely one of my favorite animal characters. All right, and that's fact. That will forever be true. They treat him like trash. If they don't get him away from him, from that fat, bearded looking thing, whatever the heck, whatever the heck that Topo, whatever the heck his name is, and go and go fight, uh, actually make, make him be part of the story. They give him the, they give him another side character more screen time than him. Vegeta, Vegeta finally been in the screen twice, and that was from him um, punching Topo in the stomach, and that was from him sensing uh, Kakar, uh, I also say Kakar, sensing Goku being in trouble when Kale Khalifa did the fuse. That's the only time he's been on the screen. Krillin and T A got more screen time than him, bro. But this and heavily, <laughs> heavily controlling, bro. Uh, I'm surprised he was okay with that. I, I expect them to be like, what? <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, Heavenly's my man, though. That, that's definitely one of my favorite YouTubers. Great, great YouTuber. Though. I expected him to kind of. I thought he was gonna be mad when he saw those two. I really thought he was gonna be upset and angry about that. But you know, listen, listen. Heavenly, that's good. Shout out to him, man. Go right there. Awesome dude. But um, anyway, yeah, this episode for me, in my opinion, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna come on this screen time, fanboy, fanboy about this. Listen, hold on, hold on. I'm not gonna just come on here and just be like, oh my goodness, look at this transformation. Bro, look at this transformation. Coke could believe it and kill this fuse. Bro, when I saw them have the Patar A rings, bro, I was like, no, don't do this. Don't do this. Please don't do it. Oh, don't do it. Oh my gosh. And they did. That's exactly they fused, bro, and I was pissed, bro. Fan service on 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 fan service. It's, and on top of that, it's like whenever Goku goes up against Kao, he just pretends like he doesn't know how to fight. Like he's never, he's not, he's not, like he hasn't been in this situation for the past 20 something years. I'm saying to Goku, if you don't kick this girl off the stage, bro, if you don't, uh, get her a little bit, uh, if you don't get her off this thing, man, if you don't drop kick this, these two off the stage, bro, my gosh, man, I don't care, listen. Even if Goku is, listen, I said this also. Even if Goku is, you know, even if Goku is, you know, he's tired. The dude, I mean, he, obviously he's not tired anymore because he just went in his uh, god form in this episode. And on top of that, and he went Super Saiyan 3. Goku should be able to body these two, bro. 
body these two. Just like what Vegeta did to Kaba. But Goku does not have to take the happy, the, uh, you know, the easy, the easy, the give him the easy workout. Excuse me. Get, do what Vegeta did to Kaba. Remember when Vegeta just, just completely destroyed Kaba and Kaba automatically became a Super Saiyan? Listen, had Goku did something like that, I would have zero problems with it. Zero. But no, Goku wants to be all nice and happy, drag this fight out without, you know, for no reason. For no reason. They over here saying, oh, we the strongest in the universe, sis. We the strongest in the universe, sis. I'm like, man, you miss me with that. You miss me with that. They make it seem like Goku was dead. They made it seem like Freeza was dead. They made it seem like Breavis was dead. They over here saying, oh, we the strongest in the universe. We the strongest tag team in the world. I'm like, whoa, what's making a head of ourselves here? Goku's still breathing. Goku's still breathing. Healthy. Bruh, this is and that's been it's pissing me off. Cause they 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 get over again ahead of themselves, thinking they all that. I'm saying about like like Goku. I'm and I literally got flashbacks from episode 100. It's gotten to a point where Goku, like Goku is arguably, like I said, he's arguably the strongest anime character in history. He should not be letting these letting these low power level garbage cans, you know, give him the works like that. We've seen Goku in this. We've seen Goku in this in this situation before. Why didn't he do? They remember on Planet Namek. You know, he's coming, he's fresh out that tank. Fresh out that tank, dog. Fresh like a monk, dog. Came out that tank, elbow recruitment in the stomach. No, was it? And picked him up and threw him. Body, literally, body, the whole Ginyu Force. The whole Ginyu Force. And I'm saying, why, 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 Goku? Why is he doing this? Came out of nowhere, bodied them. I'm saying to myself, Goku, if you don't do what you did to them back in the day, if you don't do what you did to them, bro, like what you did to the Ginyu Force, man, it's sad. It's sad, and Vegeta's not getting enough screen time. You got guys like Krillin, Krillin's my, you know, yeah, yeah, I love Krillin, that's my boy. But you got Krillin getting more screen time, you got Tien getting more screen time. All you know, all these people that have been eliminated so far are getting more screen time than Vegeta. Vegeta only been on screen twice in this episode. Twice. And on top of that, you got Gohan, Pickle struggling with these Namekians in the pre episode preview. This episode was a mess. It was a complete mess, man. You got Piccolo and Gohan struggling with these Namekians. I'm like, Piccolo, you fused with a legend. You fused with. Kami! Gohan! Gohan, you're powerful! You're still incredibly strong! Like, and, and on top of that, these things came out of nowhere! It's been three episodes since they struggled with these Namekians! Goku! Uh, Goku! Piccolo, you are THE Namekian! You are THE GOAT! You are THE legend! You fused with the legend! And you won't forget your butt kick. Well, not gonna get butt kick, but you struggling, cuz. Go on, you struggling, cuz. Shoot, throw Freeza in, coach. Freeza was like, oh, I had enough of this. I had enough of Go Goku over here, you know, toying with these kids. Freeza wanted to get him out of here. Freeza wanted to destroy him like he did Cabbage. I'm over here saying, Throw free even Beerus even said yo. Even Beerus even said yo. Throw Freeze in here, man. I knew Goku should have teamed up with Freeze. Even Beerus already knew what was up. And all the jokes that left. This episode was horrible. All jokes to the I don't know how I, I don't know if it's all jokes to the right or the left. I don't know. But this episode was disgusting. I hated this episode. I love guys, this episode was horrible. Horrible. The only good thing I can say about this episode was the animation. The animation was beautiful. I forgot to do his name, but keep him. You can keep it. Bro, your boy got zero problems with the animation. This animation was beautiful. The best it's ever been in my opinion. Well, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry. 
That Goku vs. Jerry fight animation was hot. I'm not even gonna hold you. It was. Yeah. I'll give y'all that one. Animation was looking crisp this episode. This episode was looking amazing. I mean, I mean, animation was looking amazing. Not that episode. The episode was disgusting. But animation, beautiful. It has zero problems with animation. Because, like, I mean, one thing I can't say about Dragon Ball Super is that they came a long way in terms of animation. Animation, Dragon Ball Super definitely came a long, came a long way. Came a long way because if you want to go back, episode 6, 10, this, this Goku versus Beerus in the Battle of God's Art, God, that gross, uh, disgusting. Now this, uh, 100 some episodes later, I'm glad, you know, the quality increased. I'm glad the animation is a lot better. That's one thing I can say about Dragon Ball Super, animation is looking a lot better. I mean, listen, this, I don't know, man, this episode was just horrible. And I'm surprised I only saw one rant video. I didn't, I didn't really see nobody talking, you know, saying anything about this other than Mazaku. I mean, it's, I think I'm the only one. Like, uh, am I really the only person that's a problem with this? I, am I really the only one that's? The, the, am I really the only person that does not see all the BS in this episode? That's exactly what it was. Bull. I'm not gonna come on this camera and fanboy, throw my hands up in the air, and just say, "Oh my goodness." Oh, can they find Kale Fuse? No, I'm not gonna come on this camera and say that. What do I look like? I don't sugarcoat nothing. Y'all may hate me for this video. This is fine. You guys disagree with me for this video. That's fine. Everybody has their opinion. This is mine. This episode was horrible. I didn't really, I'm not gonna bash anybody that says this episode was great. If you guys think this episode was great, that's you guys, man. This is my opinion. None of y'all said, nothing I say in this video, you know. You know, it's like, listen. This is what I think, bro. I just thought this episode was, was disgusting. You guys may disagree with me, which is fine. I may get a lot of dislikes in this video, which is fine. I may get a lot of hate comments in this video, which is fine. I really don't care. I don't have no problems with that. I respect everybody's opinion. At the end of the day, if you guys disagree with me, perfect. If you guys agree with me, perfect. I got zero problems with that. Perfect. I'm not gonna bash none of you guys. Nothing. Hey. This is my opinion what I think, my guys and girls. Before. I mean, I'm not gonna say all right, Goku was getting his butt kicked, but Goku was, I don't know. Like I said, I feel like I don't want a fight. I don't want this to be a strong fight. These are characters Goku should be taking out right out the gate. Right out the gate. This fight should not be that long. This fight should not have to stretch three episodes. It shouldn't, man. Goku is extremely, I understand he wants them. Like, I'm calm down. Let me calm down. I understand Goku wants to. Get them stronger. I understand he wants them to get that Super Saiyan 3, but come on. Goku can go a lot harder than that. I understand he has to save his energy, but he shouldn't have to against these bums, man. He shouldn't. And then the thing is, it's like, why did he, he didn't have to go God for him? He didn't. He didn't. All he had to do was just do pull a Kuma on, on kill. Cause Cal is Broly. Broly is trash. Broly is weak now. If you put him in here now, he's going to get his butt kicked by the whole school, by the whole gym, by the whole gym. If Broly walks up in there right now, if Broly walks up, if say the big hit Broly in this episode, right, and he walked up in there saying, Kakura, Kakura, he's getting his off oh, rip. He's getting his butt kicked. So, which means Kale is Broly, pretty much, right? Goku should be kicking her butt, or him. I don't know what the heck that is. I'm just fine. But um, yeah, like I said, guys, this episode was disgusting. I didn't like this. Um, what were you guys' thoughts on this episode? I'm happy. I mean, I'm, listen, I'm happy. One thing, this another thing I can say. Like I said, I'm happy Khalifa, um, and Kale especially are building their confidence. I'm happy for that. But I feel like they're being pushed way too much way too much on some Roman Reigns type time bro you know they are being pushed up on some John Cena level type time but yeah I'm happy listen I'm happy but I am happy they're building their confidence up because you guys want to go back some episodes there they, I, you who would even imagine who would even imagine like they were actually this important in the story who would have who, who would have known that so I think that is a plus that, that's something I can say I'm happy they're actually trying to fight a guy pretty much I can respect that, but Goku should be mopping the floor of these people, man. It shouldn't even be this close. They shouldn't be laying a scratch on Goku. They shouldn't. The fusion, 
No, and uh, my thoughts on the fusion, no, I don't think, no, it's dumb. Another dumb move. Another dumb move. Dumb move in my opinion. I don't know why. Why the transformation? Why? Why fusion? Why? If they can fuse, why I can Goku and Vegeta can't? It's dumb. It's so stupid. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of this nonsense. That's why Dragon Ball Z will, ever, will forever be better than Dragon Ball Super. That's why, you know, you know, that's why I love Dragon Ball Z, man. That's why nothing will even touch Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Super doesn't even come close. Dragon Ball Super is trash, okay? Had I never been a Dragon Ball fan, I would have dropped this crap a long time ago. I would. Because this series is trash. It is. It's trash. Had I never been a Dragon Ball fan, I, by episode 6, I would never watch it. Alright? But, I'm a Dragon Ball fan. I want this anime to do good. I want this to succeed. I want, you know, look, everything was doing good. Everything, that, I thought we were starting, I thought the show was about to pick up until they released this bull crap. I thought it was about to pick up, but then they dropped this episode. Okay. Um, salute all to the people, you know, I was, um, I feel, you know, for animators, I really, you know, salute to them because, you know, from the money, how much money they make, I find that unfair. That they only make six dollars an hour. I know this is kind of off topic, but I was watching TV's video, um, and they only make six dollars. That's you have to want to do it. You have to if you want to be if you guys want to become like an animator, you got you have to want to do it. And they these people want to do it, and I shouldn't really talk. And that's why I try not to talk bad about animation because it's hard. You know, you don't make that much money. It's different people doing. It. That's why I only really try to talk a lot about. It. That's why I only really complain about animation that much. Um, when I make video, you know, when I make these kind of stuff. I don't because like it's hard. I know how tough it is, you know. Well, I don't know how tough it is. I'm not in their shoes, but like I can understand, you know, not making a lot of money. You have to want to, you have to be passionate. You have to want to do it, but you know, suit to them. And I should really kind of calm down for what I say. It's not. I'm not. Listen, I'm not talking bad about the people with the who do the animation. I'm not. It's just I'm just talking about the show in general, you know. But yeah, like I said, but back on topic. I just wanted to get that off my chest. I just want to say that, but I might make that a separate video too. So actually, talk more in depth about it. Um, but yeah, back to yeah, back on topic. Yeah, this is like I said, guys. I didn't like this episode, man. I didn't. In the comments section down below, what did you guys think of this episode? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Way too dumb. I expect to see you in the comments. <laughs> Way too dumb. I expect to see you in the comments, man. <laughs> this dude pop up in the comment section down below, and all that. Um, yeah, shout out to him too, man. Yeah, wait too dumb. I expect to see you in the comments, bro. Um, yeah, I didn't like this episode, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm not. Dragon Ball Super is kind of just trash. <laughs> I mean, if we're, gonna, we're gonna be honest here. It's trash, but you know we're all Dragon Ball fans. At the end of the day, we're gonna watch it because you know we all grew up watching Dragon Ball. We love Dragon Ball, so yeah. But in the comments down below, what you guys think of this episode? Did you guys hate it? Did you guys like it? This is Boy Mixer Mixtape. I want you to have a good one. I'll see you on my next video. Peace out. Um, yeah. Also, one more thing, guys. Dragon Ball Super is thinking about it. You know, Dragon Ball Super is not the best thing. I shouldn't call it trash. It's not trash but it, it's not the best man it's okay like i said before if you guys remember my this dragon ball super suck video um it's not trash but it's not great it's meh at best dragon ball super is meh it'll have its moments here and there it has some pretty good stuff here and there but for the most part it's meh the goku versus uh Jiren fight i didn't even think that was all that good apparently we're supposed to be getting around two i'm looking forward to that but yeah i'm i'm a dragon ball fan man. at the end of the day um, so yeah, I'm, well, the reason why I do this, I do because I want the show to be good. I want the show to be great, man. I want it to be what Dragon Ball Z was like. Because I love Dragon Ball Z. It's one of my favorite anime of all time. I want Dragon Ball Super to live up to that. But it's hard. Because for Wankiri, uh, Toriyama, he's not in the office, man. You got different people doing this, bruh. You know? But, I don't know. Times have changed, I guess, man. So, like I said before, guys. In the comments, what did you guys think of this episode? What do you thought of Grandma Super? This is your boy Mixer Mixtape. And have a good one. I'm out. Be safe out there, guys.